pretty much everything you need to know about taming and using a Maywing in Ark Survival Evolved. Maywings can only be located within the northeast region of the Ark Genesis Part 2 DLC map. Using an S-Plus Tech Transmitter, I was able to scan and locate Maywings at the following locations, so feel free to check these spawns if you'd like. Given their innate ability to glide and their perpetual fear of everything with a heartbeat, they can be found pretty much anywhere in the upper parts of Eden, seductively tempting passerbys with their beautiful, bounteous, bouncing, bubbling bosoms. Oh god, I'll be right back! So how do you go about taming one of these sexualized platter squirrels, you might ask? Well, Maywings are a standard knockout tame, so use your best means of tranking it to knock it unconscious. At the very least, I would recommend a bow with trank arrows, but a long neck rifle with trank darts or shocking trank darts works substantially better. Just be aware that as soon as you begin tranking the Maywing, it's going to yeet itself away using its tits, I mean wings. Because of their skittish nature, I would recommend one of the following methods to make the taming process a little bit easier. Method number one is to use a net projectile or a bear trap to incapacitate the Maywing, then you can begin building a structure around it to keep it trapped. I would recommend using dino gates and gateways since you can place them down relatively quickly without much hassle. If you orient them in a similar fashion to a standard Argent trap, then the Maywing can't jump out of it. Just be sure to leave yourself some room between the gateways so you can hit it with tranks. If you have a good enough long neck rifle, you may not even need to construct the trap as you can knock it unconscious before the net projectile or bear trap even wears off. Method number two is to construct a trap and use either rare flowers or giant bee honey to lure the Maywing into it. For those of you that don't know, rare flowers can be consumed to draw aggro of nearby creatures for a short amount of time. Just be warned that doing this will cause all nearby creatures to become aggressive towards you and can be rather dangerous at times. To use them, either open up the drop-down menu and select Consume, or place them on your hotbar and press the appropriate binding to eat the flowers. Then, simply lure the Maywing inside the trap when it's enraged and close the gate behind it to trap it inside. From here, you can begin the tranking process as normal. Giant Bee Honey is the other alternative. Equipping it to your hotbar and pressing the corresponding binding will throw the honey on the ground, luring in nearby creatures. This method is far safer than using rare flowers, but sometimes giant bee honey can be rather hard to come by. When constructing the trap, I would recommend building a trap that's similar to either the standard Argent trap, or one like this that consists of a single gateway on four foundations, with doorways surrounding the rest of the structure. Once the Maywing is inside, close it off and begin the tranking process. So once you've successfully knocked out your overgrown flying squirrel duck, you need to milk the sh** out of it! Woo! It feels like a bag of sand when you're touching it. Okay, so you don't need to milk it, but you do need to feed it. Maywings will consume food at set intervals just like any other knockout tape. The Maywings' top three foods are basic kibble, raw mutton, and raw prime. Their torpor level is pretty high and drains rather slowly, so you shouldn't need to use any narcotics to keep it unconscious, but it's always best practice to double check your server's rates with a taming calculator just to be safe. Once the Maywing is tamed, it will consume raw meat or berries as its food source moving forwards. The Maywing saddle can be unlocked at level 19 using 24 engram points and is necessary to ride the Maywing as well as unlock its full functionality. Maywings are technically genderless creatures, however can still be bred together to produce fertilized eggs, with each of the parents producing an egg at the end of mating. Alright, so let's dive into the controls and functionality of the Maywing to showcase some of what it can do. Maywings feature a left mouse button bite that does minimal damage, a right mouse button pounce ability that does moderate damage, a C key scoop ability that can be used to pick up baby creatures, a basic jump ability by tapping the spacebar, or a charged high jump ability by holding and releasing the spacebar, the ability to glide by jumping and pressing the shift key, and a slow fall parachute ability by pressing the right mouse button while in the air. If you aim downwards while gliding, you'll get a rather large speed boost, similar to the Griffin or Snow Owl's flying mechanics. If you're using this speed boost and come into contact with either land or the surface of water, the Maywing will perform a super slide! boosting its speed even further, and destroying nodes it comes into contact with. Maywings are natural caregivers, hence the plethora of nipples I've had a blast writing jokes about. If you've ever used a mod S+, think of the Maywing as Wildcard's way of introducing the nanny into Vanilla Ark. Maywings act as a feeding trough to nearby babies and can be used to feed and raise baby creatures into maturation. Simply fill their inventory with the proper food of the baby you're trying to raise, and enable nursing via the radio wheel menu. Maywings are able to store up to four baby creatures inside of its saddle baskets. You're even able to steal an enemy player's baby creatures, or wow baby creatures such as the juvenile Karuku. This can be done via the radio wheel menu, or by mounting the Maywing and pressing the C key near a baby. The babies are stored and cared for for up to 99.9% .9 of their maturation. Once fully matured, the babies will automatically leave the basket of the Maywing saddle. Storing the babies in such a way does not provide an imprinting boost or other advantages, but it does make for a convenient way to transport the babies outside of cryopods. 
Maywings feature the innate ability to produce random eggs of varying quality over time. To test this, I used an S plus item collector and sped up the in-game time to see how many eggs it would produce in approximately one arc day, with this being the final result. Oh, well that's kind of underwhelming. But keep in mind that egg production is increased with an Alvaraptor present, so upon retesting, this was the result! Uh, okay, so maybe don't rely on them for egg production, but they do produce a bunch of eggs, I promise. Maywings make for a fairly solid early level tame, and are capable of gathering berries, fiber, and hide at pretty solid rates. They also feature a natural 50% weight reduction to berries and meat. Even with gliding and sliding mechanics aside, Maywings feature a fairly high base movement speed both on land and in the water, making them a great source of transportation in the game. Maywings do not have an oxygen stat, meaning they can survive indefinitely underwater without the fear of drowning. Maywings are also not susceptible to fall damage. So with all of this information in mind, what is the Maywings' main use? Aside from sparking a new line of arc fetish porn. Well, considering all of the Maywings' unique characteristics and features, they're quite the jack-of-all-trades. If I had to narrow it down, I would categorize them as either a support mount for raising babies, or as a travel mount. If a baby raiser is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into nursing effectiveness for increased feeding radius, and wait to adequately store all the necessary food for babies. As highlighted throughout the rest of this video, Maywings make for natural caregivers to baby creatures, and can make the breeding process a lot easier in ARC. When paired with a mate-boosted female Procopthodon's ability to reduce the food consumption of babies in her pouch, alongside its natural boost to imprinting affinity, the Maywing can make for a fantastic addition to any tribe looking for a better means of raising creatures. If a travel mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into health, weight, and stamina. As aforementioned, the Maywing's base movement speed is quite high, and when coupled with their ability to glide, they can make for a very fast travel mount on land, in the air, or underwater. With further testing and practice, I was able to uncover how to bolster the Maywing's speed with full potential. Basically, whenever you jump, you want to look downwards, then pull up, look to the left quickly, pull back towards the right, pull up slightly, then look downwards again to- Oh, holy shit! Ah! 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 You have clearance, Clarence. Roger, roger. What's our vector, Victor? It sounds a little complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes second nature. If you pull it off correctly, you'll be flying at what could potentially be some of the fastest speeds in the game, with virtually no loss of height or stamina concerns. Alright, well that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave it a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and please keep leaving me comments because... What also floats in water? Braid! Apples! Uh, very small rocks! Cider!